Namaste. In our continued quest to enjoy the bliss of Sri Krishna's names as it appears in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, we are in another episode where we are going to look at a Thirunama called Amitta Vikrama. Let's discuss more about Amitta Vikrama. But before that, let's look at a management, uh, what do you call a statement. What gets measured gets done. This is what normally people in management use. So measurement is important. Now when we say measurement, the most common measurement, if anything, is by feet. Here we are going to talk about the divine feet of Sriman Narayana. So here we are going to see how Sri Krishna is now the Amita Vikrama and also see the name what Amita Vikrama means and then how Arjuna, as I mean through Arjuna, Sri Krishna is explaining a lot of things to us. Let us look at the sloka, 11th chapter, 40th sloka for this episode. Namo stute sarvata yeva sarva Ananta virya mita vikramastvam Sarvam samapnoshi tatosi sarvaha In Mahabharata, we have seen Krishna take a lot of steps through to his divine feet to help the Pandavas. He went as the Pandava Duta walking across to the court of Duryodhana and ask, uh, representing the Pandavas to, uh, to broker peace. In Sri Rama Avatara, we have seen Sri Rama walk all the way from Ayodhya through Dandakaranya to all the way to Sri Lanka just to get Mata Sita. And in the process, his divine feet measured whole of Bharata Desha. So that way, you can see the feet, the measures across everything, either in Sri Krishna Avatara or Sri Rama Avatara. But moment we talk of measurement, moment we talk of divine feet, the first thing that comes to our mind is always Vamana Avatara, where as a small Vamana, Sriman Narayana comes to the court of Mahabali, asks for three measures of land by his feet. And then he grows so much that he has no place to put the second, the third measure, because in the first two measures, he finished measuring the entire universe. And then to bless Mahabali, to ensure that Mahabali's uh, stature of giving whatever is asked is there, he gives a third feet measure on Mahabali's head. So the feet and the measure is there always. But as Ma Vamana and as he grows as Trivikrama, Vikrama means feet or a measure of strides that he takes. So three Vikrama, three steps he takes. That's why Vamana becomes Trivikrama. So we, can we measure that? It's impossible to measure exactly the scale of with which Mahasriman Narayana measured this entire universe as Trivikrama. So, coming back to the Tirunama that Arjuna addresses Sri Krishna here as Amitta Vikrama is. Vikrama is the measure in which he measures the entire universe. Amitta is countless. You just can't measure this. So, what gets measured gets done. But here we are trying to measure the immeasurable. And Arjuna here is it's totally in, in love and bhakti beyond bewilderment because we know we are in the 11th chapter, Vishwarupa chapter, there are varied emotions that Arjuna goes through from confusion to bewilderment and now slowly towards bliss because he is seeing the Supreme right there. In the 10th chapter, Sri Krishna has told Arjuna that he is there in everything. He is omnipresent and omnipotent everything and he explains very clearly in the 10th chapter. In the 11th chapter, Arjuna requests Krishna to show that and he shows the Vishwarupa. Then we can see that Sahasra Sri Shapurushaha that he says. So he says so many shoulders, so many eyes, so many divine feet of Sri Krishna that what he used to see as four arms Krishna with two feet now is this an immeasurable things. So though Veda says Sahasra which is thousand but it is a reference to saying countless. So that is how the Arjuna is now looking at Sri Krishna with, with faith, love and bhakti that he says, hey Krishna, you are server. Here that is where he says with full realization. The 11th chapter is about realization of Arjuna about Sri Krishna that he is Sarva, he is omnipresent, he is omnipotent. Oh, you are there everywhere, you are there in, in, in immeasurable time. And that's why he again uses saying Amita Vikrama that you are an immeasurable person with innumerable steps that you take. And even in Mahabharata, just the Kurukshetra war, Sri Krishna takes a lot of uh, immeasurable steps to protect Arjuna and the Pandavas. He even, he first and foremost, he comes as a charioteer. 
Bhagawan is coming as a charioteer itself is an immeasurable step. And then he takes care of the horses, he takes care of uh, the forces, he protects Arjuna at very key the situations. We know all those things in the Itihasa that we have seen in Mahabharata, particularly the Kurukshetra war. So that is the greatness of Sri Krishna, which uh, Arjuna is now realizes and he says, you are omnipresent and you are omnipotent. You are present in everything, whether the smallest ant or biggest animal in terms of size, if you talk about an elephant or the Deva, the Devas or in everything, plants, trees, everything. And even in 10th chapter, Krishna himself says, among the warriors, I am you, Arjuna. So even in Arjuna, Sri Krishna is there. So the realization of everything is Sri Krishna and in everybody else, everyone else resides Sri Krishna is the most important realization Sri Krishna expects from us. And that is what now Arjuna is explaining by saying Sarva, and explain, I mean, and with love and bhakti, because his whole emotion is transforming from one of a bewilderment to a, to a more uh, what do you call realized soul at this point in time. So that is exactly that uh, Arjuna is going through, and through Arjuna, Sri Krishna is teaching all of us that Sri Sri Krishna is Amita Vikrama. There are co references which is commonly addressed immediately. We know it relates to only one particular person. When in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, we see a lot of references saying Bhagavan Vacha. We know it is only Krishna is saying, Bhagavan Vacha, he is saying this, Krishna is saying this. When we say Janmashtami, we know it is Krishna Janmashtami. Because we don't have to specifically say Krishna Janmashtami, though we use it, but the moment I say Janmashtami, all of us get Krishna in our mind. When I say Naomi, what happens? We get Lord Rama in our minds. Because that is very important. And this is the most important factor that here we are saying, because after Arjuna realizes Sri Krishna is everything because we are in the 11th chapter, the Vishwarupa chapter. He has seen Krishna in this full magnificent form and he says, you are Sarva Vyapi. When he says Sarva, he realizes that Sri Krishna is everything and Sri Krishna is inside everything. The, big, the best part of realization here is also the fact that Sri Krishna can do everything in his Sankalpa. Because there is always a fact, right? So what is the fastest? The speed of light, speed of sound, we, science talks of a lot of things. But our rishis have seen mentioned as manovegam, something that your mind can travel much faster than any of this. I personally love three places. I love to be in Sri Rangam, I like to be in, live in Singapore and Sydney has a fascination. I can sit in one place and say right now I want to be in Sri Rangam looking at Sri Ranganatha. Yes, by mind I can go there. I want to just spend some time in Sydney holiday, I can go by mind. And I want to work in Singapore, I just visualize that I am in Singapore, I can do it instantly. But for me to physically do this, it takes a lot of time. I have to make a travel plan, I have to travel, go there and all that, it takes its own time. But here, Sri Krishna can do that thing in Sankalpa. He can create something in, in no time, he can be in some place in no time. That makes it Amita Vikrama, that he is boundless and he is boundless valor and he can do everything by Sankalpa. We can only think of doing things. We can do visualization, but he can actually do realization. He can do it in real. So this fact comes very, very important as a realization for Arjuna. And he says, Sarva, you are Sarva Vyapi. You are there in everything. And he is, uh, what do you call, celebrating the valor of Sri Krishna as saying Amita Vikrama. And that is what we need to worship, learning from this episode that Sri Krishna is Amita Vikrama and let us be blessed by Sri Krishna. Namaste. Madhava Achyuda Krishna Hare Rishi Kesha Keshava Govinda Vasudeva Bhagavan Janardana